England struggling against India in day one of the fifth test, the 218 for nine. And delighted to say that we can speak to former England captain Nasser Hussein. Now, Nasser, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, same old story, wasn't it, this morning? Another promising start, another middle order collapse from England. Will this series be viewed as perhaps a missed opportunity for England? Yeah, you're right. I mean, missed opportunity, definitely in the last two test matches. They had those opportunities there to win those games. They didn't. Um, and you're right as well about the repetitive nature of the innings. I think that second session between lunch and tea was probably the most disappointing session for England on this tour. And if I could include in that session the ball before um, lunch, the last ball before lunch, as it turned out, Ollie Pope, 100 for one, round down the pitch, 100 for two, 175 for three, 175 for six with the middle order blown away. And now nine down, you know, I think folks has just got out again, him batting with the tail. So it has become the repetitive nature of England's batting that has become uh, concerning. Uh, Nasser, I mean, we feel like we're repeating ourselves updating these games at the moment. I mean, like England made a good start and we're getting a bit excited in here and then all of a sudden it falls apart. I mean, there's going to be a lot of scrutiny on Baz Ball once again. You know, you've... you've done it at the very highest level. Nas, what are, what are your thoughts? Is it time for a rethink or do they need to persevere? Uh, I think uh, with the batting, it's an individual look at your own game and try and work out how to improve. That whether Whatever era you're playing in, whatever coach, whatever captain, the best players, the greatest players, you look at Ravi Ashwin who's playing in his 100th test match, always looking at himself, trying to improve, trying to get better. You look at Kuldeep Yadav who has had a magnificent day again, Pfeiffer, for him, it's his second time coming back in into Test match cricket, and he's learnt and he's improved. Uh, he's bowling quicker, more accurate, more variations. So each of those England batters have to look at themselves and say, "How do I get better?" You know, Zach Crawley has got better; he's got more consistent, but now he keeps getting out between 50 and 70. I think that was about the sixth time in Test cricket yeah. he's got out um, in the 70s. Um, that middle order, you know, Johnny Bairstow trying to counter attack, trying to counter punch getting to 20, 30, getting out. Ben Stokes has had a difficult tour with the bat, not picking Kuldeep Yadav, going back to Kuldeep Yadav uh, and getting trapped on the crease. Ben Folks then stuck with the tail. Um, so whatever era, whatever coach, whatever captain you play under, the most important voice in your head is not the captain and coach. It's your own thought process on how do I become a better cricketer? Uh, and hopefully... By the end of this tour, everyone will look at themselves and say, right, don't hide behind Baz Ball and the mentality. Um, try and improve your own game. Well, Nasser, as we talked to you, England are now all out in this first innings for 218. Obviously, there is still one more innings for these England batters to come. Is anyone's place going to be under threat in this England side off the back of this series? Obviously, you've got the likes of Harry Brook waiting eagerly to come back in. Uh, well, the openers have done well, haven't they? As I just said, Crawley um, has played consistently throughout on the back of an excellent Ashes series. I think Duckett is in a similar uh, boat there. I think he's absolutely fine. I think Ollie Pope, after that 196, has looked incre increasingly frenetic. I, I mean, I couldn't believe it. The innings after he got 196, it looked like he hadn't got a run for a very long time. And he played one of the great innings e ever seen by an England batter. So... He, he will want to get runs in the second innings um, because, as you say, Harry Brook is coming back in. Bairstow himself uh, will need some runs in the second innings. Uh, Stokes' place in the side as captain is written in stone. So uh, I, I'm not so worried at the moment about places in sides or whatever. I, I, I would be finish the tour well. As Stokes said, before the, uh, the first ball went down today, 3-2 sounds a lot better than 4-1. 4-1 sounds like it's the same old England team uh, in England. Go there, win the first test like they did last time, and then the wheels come off. But as we've just discussed, actually, in the last two test matches, if they were a bit smarter, a bit more switched on, they could have easily been going to Dharmashala to all. Um, so plenty to play for, uh, including, you're right, including places in the side for the summer.